Hi everyone. I recently did a review and teardown of a Keithley 175 multimeter and I've since been asked what is the difference between that meter and the Keithley 197. Well the obvious difference is that the 197 is a five and a half digit multimeter whereas the 175 is only four and a half. Also the accuracy on the 197 is plus or minus 0 0.015 of a percent whereas on the 175 it is only plus or minus 0 0.03 percent. The other slight difference is that the power pack assembly on the 197 uses a 12 volt NICAD rechargeable battery whereas on the 175 it uses a 9.6 volt NICAD battery. Well I am to have here today a Keithley 197 multimeter. Again it comes in two variants, the 197 and the 197A. This particular one is the 197 but the A version main differences are it has a backlight on the display, the casing colour is somewhat different and it has a connector on the back for the power cord. Other than that the meter is basically identical. So what we'll do today is we'll have a look at this meter but I won't go through all of the controls again as I did that on the 175 so I'll refer you to the 175 review I did. But what I'll do today is take the cover off this and have a look inside. Before we take the case off this meter I should just point out one other main difference between this and the Keithley 175 and that is it has two additional input terminals here which are used on the ohms range and these are the ohm sense terminals and they provide for a four wire resistance test with this meter and improve the accuracy. Other than that all the rest of the uh, controls are exactly the same as what you saw previously on the Keithley 175. So let's now take the case off the meter. OK I've taken all the screws out now so I'll just remove the, the top cut casing. And the first thing you notice inside again is the uh, the battery option there. Uh, this particular meter looks as though somebody's replaced the uh, 12 volt NICAD battery with uh, a number of single cells all strapped together. So what I'll do first of all is uh, remove this unit. It's virtually identical in terms of what we saw in the Keithley 175. The only difference is the different uh, voltage NICAD battery is 12 volts here. So let me take this with this out. Okay. Well, there you can see the uh, the printed circuit board there of the meter, which as you probably don't is straight away it's very very similar if not identical really to the 175 and 175A model. Um, I'll just remove this uh, ribbon cable so we can see it a bit clearly. Right I'll just pick out the main uh, components and areas on the board for you. Uh, the fact that it is very very similar to the 175 model um, I won't uh, go in too much detail on the items that we've really seen before. Uh, the meter itself is uh, controlled by a micro processor I see there which is the same as we had before which is the Motorola MC146805 and uh, there the other large IC is the uh, PIA, the Peripheral Interface Adapter, and there's the the ROM with the software in for the program to run the meter. As before we have some uh, RAM here, some static RAM, which obviously uh, holds the running program for the meter and also stores the uh, data logging uh, information. Uh, the other memory chip you can see there as before is the uh, the non-volatile 
uh, memory there which is electrically alterable and that is used to store the calibration data for the meter. As we saw on the 175 the calibration is done electronically from the front panel and there is no presets within the meter itself. The power supply is in that area of the board as we saw previously on the 175. The only difference here I've noticed is that uh, they're not using on this particular model they're not using voltage regulator ICs they have a power transistor there and a, a Zener so they're obviously stepping down the voltage by that technique rather than have a, a voltage regulator IC other than that the basic circuitry around here is just about the same as we saw before in this area of the board here we have the voltage reference circuitry and again they're using a temperature control Zener the only difference this time is that they're using a slightly better quality Zener uh, this one is actually a 1N4579 as opposed to the 1N4577 which we saw on the Keithley 175 meter and this particular Zener has got a temperature coefficient of 0 0.0005 whereas the one we saw previously on the 175 meter had a temperature coefficient of 0 0.002 so this center is obviously a much higher tolerance center than we saw previously so a little bit more accurate in this circuitry here but basically it's the same circuit so I won't go through all that again in this area of the board here you can see we have another IC there as before that is the RMS to DC converter chip and again it's the same IC, it's the AD637J quite a standard IC for, for that function there is the uh, input circuitry here along this side here you can see we have some uh, thin film resistors which are all uh, CADOC electronics thin film resistors these here by the switches as before are to do with the current shunts uh, the larger current shunt is here and another what appears to be a bent piece of wire down in that corner there behind the uh, input sockets the input circuitry is a little bit different there uh, the positions of the relays they used to be more in the middle of the board on this particular meter they're at the side there and the protection circuitry on the input there for the ohms range they're using a couple of transistors and a thermistor which is just took down there at the bottom the transistors here in the middle of the board are as we saw before on the Keithley 175 they're providing some uh, switching to give the signal details to the microprocessor so basically what they're doing is they're switching the signal uh, through the voltage signal or the, or the resistance or the current signal through and the other uh, switching is to do with the reference voltages and the zero volts so that's what those transistors are there for as this particular meter is the uh, the 197 you'll see that the mains input lead is wired straight onto the board there whereas the 197A the A version would actually have a main socket, an ICE main socket at the back there uh, so that would be the, one of the main differences really and you'd also have a push button switch at this side for the backlight for the liquid crystal display at the back of the meter here we've got the mains selector switch there and the switch, the calibration switch is there next to it one other difference I've noticed here is that the uh, the operational amplifier there that's being used on the input circuitry uh, this particular one is a AD542 it's a very high performance input buffer amplifier uh, so that's a better quality than what we saw on the on the model 175 so I think in general terms the circuit and the layout is very similar to the 175 model but they're using slightly better specified components 
and the tolerance on the uh, voltage reference center is much better and together with the five and a half digit display they have that's how they get the improved uh, accuracy. I'll just uh, bring the camera down and let you have a look at where the, uh, the the Zener is here for the voltage reference circuit just to a quick look at that. Here you can see a, a, a better view now of the voltage reference circuitry of the board. There is the orange temperature control Zener, the 6.4 volt Zener and the circuitry associated with that with the thin film resistors there. There's also a dual FET transistor there in one package obviously for uh, temperature compensation. Uh, although they have the 6.4 volt Zener that is uh, divided down to give a 2 volt reference which is used for the, the meter itself. Well I hope that brief teardown of this Keithley 197 multimeter has answered some of the questions that people may have had when comparing it to the 175 model and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.